Hey YouTube, how's it going? How are you guys doing? This is your first time checking out Truly Divine's channel. What is up? I'm Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. This. Welcome back. <laughs> My daughter's even saying it. This is your mess. What? Did you just say I'm insane? No. This is your message for Thursday, April 4th. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's start off with your oracle card. Today is talking about trickster. Sort this out. And it says, There is a lighthearted, fun aspect of the trickster, but there's also the conscious to tread carefully because things are not always as they seem. Be discouraging. What appears to be a good opportunity may in fact not be. The wonderful aspect of this card choosing you is that it offers the opportunity to step out of your old, outmolded ways of perceiving yourself. The trickster allows you to see yourself in an entirely new way and ask you to step out of old routines and habits that may be keeping you stagnant. There you guys go. So step out of your old ways and step into this new beginning. That is the message that I'm hearing. So with that, I feel like a lot of you right now are kind of in this hermit mode. Um, kind of in this place of just needing to take a step back with something. Needing to reconnect with yourself on a spiritually mentally emotionally level maybe you've been giving too much of your time and energy elsewhere and not been giving enough on your own maybe you've gone through a recent separation and you are feeling like nothing is going to come good of this maybe you feel like kind of like you're an outsider right like you don't fit any anywhere i feel like with the hermit mode coming up for you guys it's just about stability right now it's about Knowing that things will happen for you in divine timing. Um, just use this time, use this place as a foundation of growing. Because that's what I'm seeing is that you need to evolve right now. You need to leave what is no, you need to leave and go away from what is no longer working for you guys. And move through it, move forward. You have choices. You have decisions that need to be made with this two of wands. So it's about deciding what your heart and intuition are telling you. It's about choosing the right path for you. Um, either path that you guys choose, I do feel like there's going to be an obstacle you're going to have to face. But I feel like overcoming that obstacle, you are going to lead into something better, something greater. With the devil card coming up in this reading, I feel like you guys could be dealing with someone who has an addiction. This could be a sex addiction, this could be a drug addiction, this could be an alcohol addiction. So be very cautious of that, or if that is your energy coming through, I feel like you need, this is kind of your sign of you guys needing help right now. When it comes to the Seven of Swords, sorry, the devil is also talking about bad, bad behaviors. So if you've been really using things as a source um, in regards to unhealthy habits like eating habits or sleeping habits or you know just being with multiple people I feel like you need to be cautious of that today um seven of swords is coming up because I feel like some of you may feel like you're being taken for granted some of you may be feeling like you have to walk away from a situation and take what you have with you a lot of you could be feeling um that where you are is no longer where you need to be but there is something about like someone could be stealing something from you it necessarily doesn't have to be money it could be something as simple as stealing your happiness or stealing your joy so try not to surround yourself with that type of energy today try to get away from these energies that are coming through page of pentacles so pentacles is coming up because this is spirit telling you you know what all of those lessons that you've been learning all of that hard work that you've been learning it's about to pay off for you this is God's protection. This is God telling you that, you know what, you are moving through this hermit mode. You are th moving through that seven of swords. You are going to beat this addiction or behavior that is keeping you from moving forward. You are going to beat that. Um, you just need to choose a path right now that's going to bring you that emotional fulfillment. That's going to bring you that happiness because we leave off with the star card, guys. The star is hope, right? It's dreams. It's everything that you guys want. The water is calm right now, you know. Don't add fuel to that. Let life love you. Let life come to you. Let life grow through you. That's what I'm hearing right now. Go out there and go after what it is that you want, but make yourself a priority today. I feel like you guys need to put some time and energy into yourself, all right? So with that, your oracle card is talking about dog today. 
So it says, be disciplined in your home and community life. When you receive this card, you are invited to look at the structure of your family life and your friendships, including those with work colleagues. Are you loyal to each other? Do you respect each other? Do you all relate to each other for the highest good? Are you disciplined or chaotic in your lifestyle? Your family reflects you, so are you loyal to yourself? Do you respect yourself? Do you make your choices for your highest good? You are reminded that spiritual discipline is the foundation for true happiness and joy. It is the keystone of ascension. The dog card wants you to know that when you constantly practice your spiritual techniques, you can be adaptable, courageous, and develop a sense of adventure and fun. Your entire life can expand based on the solid foundation as self-control confirms safety. You can then walk forward in joy and bliss. So very beautiful message, guys. I hope you guys have a happy, safe, and fun Friday, Thursday. I'm getting a day ahead of myself. Um, let me know how this resonates. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Know that I'm sending you guys all love and light, and I will see you again on Friday. Take care, guys.